Hey all, welcome to Real Little Britain. Folks, tonight I've got something very, very special for you. Now, it's a bottle of Fuller's beer, and it is their Fuller's 170th anniversary um, celebration. Now, it comes in this lovely box. There's the bottle, look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Comes in at 7% ABV. Really looking forward to trying this. Now, this beer um, was purchased about a year ago. So it's a year old and it's seven percent so the thing is seven percent beers i only really age beers anything over eight and a half nine percent so it's been a year now so looking forward to cracking this bad open and seeing exactly what it's like so the beer is open with a lovely hiss go straight on with the pour so the beer is pouring with good carbonation and it's got a lovely, lovely white head, folks. Look at that. That is a two finger tightly packed bubble, oh, two finger uh, tightly packed bubble white head. And it is a deep orange color. Uh, you can see the carbonation going up there. Let's go straight in with the nose. Oh, the first thing you get is oranges. You get golden syrup. You get wheat. You also get that deep earthiness of uh, golden hops. You get the sweetness of um, golden syrup, a little bit of honey. We're going to go straight in. Cheers. Whoa. <clears throat> the first thing I'm going to say is that you get this massive big peach nut. And that's definitely coming from uh, the likes of Liberty Hops um, because I've used them before and um, when they start to age or start to digest down through a beer you get this lovely peachiness. Golden's gives the exact same thing as well um, but on the back end a bit of earthiness. You get this lovely grassy, <clears throat> grassy overtones to the beer. For me, uh, this beer is more hoppy than what it is malty, but you do get oats. Um, you get and oats. The oats are quite creamy. You also get um, golden syrup. You get light uh, white bread notes. You also get a little bit of earthy, um, earthy woody notes. There is uh, some um, rocket leaving this lovely pepperness. There's a deep uh, wheat note as well, leaving this lovely oiliness on the inside of the pot. I would say this is one of the best um, specials um, fillers of them. Very, very good. Um, I think I'm going to pick up another bottle to see what it's going to be like if it is aged actually for maybe a couple of years. But for me, the hops are so, so fresh on it and so, so, um, so, so complement the malt as well. Um, the hops are just starting to turn and that's where that peachy, that white flesh peachiness comes in. And what you don't want, it, you don't want to downgrade it anymore. When it does start to downgrade, it come, starts becoming like a barley wine. The carbonation on the beer is absolutely stunning. The body on the beer is absolutely fantastic. You're also starting to pick up a lovely green tea and um, taste it as well. Folks, what's the finish like? The finish for me is big and hoppy. It's the um, Goldens and Liberty Hops, which are enlaced with these beautiful, beautiful, but very, very light golden uh, hop or uh, malts. Which are just sitting in the back uh, round. There's a lovely alcohol one to finish, which leads to a deep uh, but dry hop cone uh, green bitterness. What do I give Fuller's Brewery for their celebration 170th anniversary uh, ale? This to me, without a doubt, it's a 10 out of 10 beer, folks. It's 10 out of 10. That's really Little Britain doing a review on the Fuller's Breweries. Um, celebration uh, ale the 170th anniversary beer cheers slam a